If the NBA doesn't return in 2020, Vince Carter would have played his final game at 43 years old, which would make him the fourth oldest player to ever play in an NBA game all time. Robert Parrish, 43 when he retired, Kevin Willis, 44, and Nate Hickley, 45, being drafted in the 90s and the first ever player to play in four different decades, something we might not see for a very long time. Some players tend to look older than others when they're drafted. For example, Greg Oden looked like he could have been Kevin Durant's father when they both entered the league in 2000. If Odin didn't get hurt and playing today, he'd still only be 32 years old but would look like the oldest player in the league. No disrespect. With that said, let's take a look at 15 players older than expected, followed by 15 younger than most thought. Starting with Kyle Korver, who knows if he'll be back if the playoffs won't resume. He did state before the season this was likely going to be his last. The soon to be 39 year old became one of the best outside shooters the game has ever seen, was even better in his early to mid 30s, made the all star team in 2015. 15, averaged 6.7 points, still shot over 41% from deep in 50 games played this season, still looking for his first ring. PJ Tucker, it was absolutely absurd when D'Antoni and the Rockets went full out extremely small, putting the 6'5 forward at center. If the season were to continue, the 35 year old would have been burned out by now. Trying to guard 7 footers in the paint, many probably thought he was 31 or 32, but drafted back in 2006, Tucker played 5 seasons overseas after just 17 games his first year, made a name for himself with great defense and his hustle plays, continues to play hard every game, a career best 6.9 rebounds in the 2020 season, a bowl at 250 pounds, Tucker will be earning 8 million next season. Kyle Lowry, 34 years young, having another great season, the 6 foot point guard continues to produce on both ends, falls on the floor about 5 times a game, puts up close to 20 points, nearly 8 assists, pesky on D, gets under his opponent's skin, averaging more points than the previous 2 years. Years. Many might think he's 31 or 32. Selected in the 06 draft and all star the last six seasons, it appears Lowry will have a couple good years left and far from done. Aaron Baines, a fan favorite, the 6'10 big man played his best basketball with Phoenix, an experienced vet, averaged 11 and a half points, 35% from deep, attempting over four threes a game. Played like an all-star the first month of the season, already 33 years old, many big men his age would be out the league, but the New Zealand native has 8 years under his belt, a title, played college ball at Washington State before playing in Europe for 4 seasons, made his NBA debut at age 26, developed into a terrific role player, every team would love to have a guy like him. Brad Watermaker of the Boston Celtics, in only his second season, many probably thought he was 21 or 22, but the 6'2 point guards already 30 years old, undrafted, spent time overseas in Italy, France, Germany, and Turkey, played in the G League. The Celtics signed him to a one-year contract in 2018 for under a million, 36 games, 3.9 points in limited minute in year one, producing good minutes in year two, making the most of his opportunity, a success after a long fulfilling journey. Dwight Powell, who turned 29 July 20th, the 6'10 center started his career as a 23-year-old backup for the Celtics already in year six. In the prime of his career, received the three-year $33 million extension summer 2019, a solid deal for Dallas. Nico Melli of the New Orleans Pelicans, the 6'9 rookie averaged almost 7.17 minutes of action, already 29 years old, started playing pro ball since he was 16, will be known as a three-point shooter, nothing else too significant. Chris Boucher, the 27-year-old 6'9 power forward made a name for himself this season, 13 minutes a game, 6.3 points off the bench, a high energy guy, after playing just 29 total games his first two seasons. Boucher had a tough childhood, dropped out of high school and homeless at 16, worked as a dishwasher before being offered a spot in the tournament team. Things went uphill from there, played at the University of Oregon for two seasons, started in the G League, won MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in 2019, a solid bargain, making 1.6 mil in 2020. His partially guaranteed contract became fully guaranteed, will be rewarded at least a couple million the next few seasons. Brett Van Fleet, on his way to earning a big contract, the 6 foot guard has come a long way, being undrafted in 2016 to becoming one of the best role players after a spectacular finals performance. The Illinois native averaged 17.6 points, 39% from 3 attempting 7 a game, steps up in big moments. The Raptors got a bargain signing him in summer 2018, 2 years 18 million, and only year 4, many might have heard of him only 2 years ago, so they assume he'd be 22 or 23, but stay 4 years at Wichita State already 26 years old, should be entering the prime of his career. 
Cameron Johnson. The 6'8 small forward was picked 11th overall in the 2019 draft. A decent rookie, 8.1 points, 20 minutes a game, 40% from 3. A spot up guy, already 24, older than teammate Devin Booker. Many criticized Phoenix for not drafting a point guard. Johnson was expected to become a mid to late first round pick because of his age. Daniel Tice. The 6'8 center has proven himself to be a quality center. Just his third full season, putting up over 9 points, 6.5 rebounds, sets good screens for his teammates. From Germany, the 28-year-old will be making 5 million next season. A solid deal for Boston, getting him for two years, 10 mil, flourishing under Brad Stevens' system. Duncan Robinson, the three-point standout, starting at small forward, putting up over 13 points. The 26-year-old started playing Division III ball before transferring to the University of Michigan. Undrafted and overlooked, Pat Riley deserved tons of credits for signing him. Robinson's skills impeccable for today's NBA, making 1.4 mil this season, 1.6 to next, a steal for Miami. Davis Bertans, 27 years old, being a free agent in 2020, teams will be offering him dollars left and right, having the best season of his career, 15.4 points, over 42% from deep, the second most reliable Wizards all season, at 6'10", stretching the floor, the Lafayette native was picked 42nd in 2011 by the Pacers, part of the George Hill Kawhi trade, Bertans didn't make his debut till 2016. Buddy Hill, the 27-year-old stayed 4 years in college, averaged close to 20 points with the Kings, benched at times by Luke Walton, a decent shooting guard at the prime of his career already, agreed to a 4-year $94 million contract. Malcolm Brondon, the 2017 Rookie of the Year, will turn 28 December 11, a career year for the Pacers, averages 16.7 assists, his field goal percentage weighed down since he has to carry a heavy burden, signed a 4 year $85 million deal last season, some believe his ceiling has already peaked. Other mentions include Damian Lee of the Warriors, will turn 28 October 21st, his third season, Joe Ingles turns 33 October 2nd, Cody and Caleb Martin, rookies, both already 24 years old for Charlotte. It. Now for the players younger than expected. Daddy is young. In the league since 2007, many might think he's 34 or 35, but only 31. Viewed as a terrific role player for much of his career, averaging the lowest points since his rookie year, 12 straight seasons of double-figure scoring. Young signed a 3-year $43 million deal on a bad Bulls team, still solid off the bench. Serge Ibaka, you would think he's 33 or 34, but still only 30 years old, coming into the league as one of the best shot blockers. Ibaka lost his athleticism at the latter part of his OKC years, known as a spot-up shooter the last couple seasons, somehow averaging the most points for his career, 16 a game, expanded his range, very effective, maybe he is actually only 30 years old, will be a free agent after the 2020 season, I can see some teams pay big money to get him. Nicholas Batum, seems like he's been awful for Charlotte forever, still shockingly only 31 years old, many players his age still produce at a high level, younger than Steph Curry, having an awful year, 3.6 points, already 5 seasons with the Hornets, 22 games, has a player option for 2021, if I were him I'd take the 27 million, a disaster of a contract. Avery Bradley, rejuvenating himself and being relevant since his Boston days, still only 29 years old, it seemed like Bradley's career was falling apart. Park. After leaving Boston, didn't get much coverage on bad teams, but continues to flourish defensively. A decent spot up shooter starting at the two. The Lakers did a great job picking him up. Derek Favors, 10 seasons in the NBA, feels like he's older. Started the last seven years, still only 28 years old, the prime age for most players, putting up the highest rebounding numbers of his career at 6'10. Not really a strong fit in the modern NBA, will be a free agent after the 2020 season. Many probably think he's in his early 30s. Andre Robertson, who hasn't played in over two years, after suffering numerous injuries, spent all his years with OKC, a terrific defender, but an awful shooter, still shockingly 28 years old, continues to rehab, nobody knows if he'll ever play in the NBA again. Harrison Barnes, still 27, turns 28 May 30th, 8 years in the league, nothing more than just a role player, pretty much puts up empty stats on bad teams, Dallas gave him a whooping, 4 year 94 million. After a disastrous 2016 finals, Sacramento resigned him to 4 years 85 mil. The team hasn't gotten better with him, not very intriguing. Bismack Biombo, also 27, which I don't believe, 9 seasons already, hasn't been relevant since having a couple good games for the Raptors in the 2016 playoffs. Andre Drummond, 26, shockingly doesn't turn 27 till August, 8 seasons in the books, 7 
seven and a half with the awful Pistons, despite having three rebounding titles, still hasn't won a single playoff game for his career. Many teams won't be too interested in giving Drummond the big bucks since his style of play isn't as vital in today's NBA. The best rebounder since Rodman, at least he can finish top five in that category if he has a long career. Dennis Schroeder, 26 years old, turns 27 September 15, seems like he's been in the league for 10 years, seven seasons, playing as well and efficient as ever, 19 points a game off the bench, flourishes in the backcourt with CP3, reliable at crunch time, will be making 15 and a half mil in 2021. Michael Kidd Gilchrist, still 26 years old, a huge bust, now on the Mavs, barely plays 21 games on the season, never developed any offense, will be a free agent, and might be out of the NBA very soon. Bradley Beal, 26 as well, the 6'3 2 guard, don't turn 27 till June 28, reaching close to his prime, already 8 seasons with Washington, single handedly carrying that struggling franchise. Being in many trade talks, a terrific scorer will have plenty of basketball left. His career might not even be halfway complete. Steven Adams, who looks like he's in his mid-30s or even 40s with facial hair. The 6'11 center is still 26 years old. Seven seasons with OKC, a solid player. It feels like he's been in the NBA longer than that, even younger than Buddy Heal. Bam Adebayo, many might think he's 24 or 25. Finally breaking out, but only 22 and an all-star, deservingly so. Many bigs in past eras stayed 3-4 to four years in college and entered the league in their early 20s. Adebayo's very polished, does it all. Frank Nilekina, just 18 when drafted, still 21, hasn't lived up to his expectations for New York, plays 20 minutes a game, good on defense, but still shaky offensively, hesitant to shoot, doesn't seem to have confidence at times, still has time to get better despite being in trade rumors. Honorable mentions include Catavius Caldwell Pope, who just turned 27 in February, has been a solid backup for the Lakers. Marquise Chris, 22, looking to remain in the NBA. Who knows how much longer he will be on the Warriors. Markel Folks, once considered a bust and counted out before getting a chance, won't turn 22 till May 29th. Still a chance to improve heavily. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love all of you. See you next time.